United held by Morton at Capital in the League Cup, Hibs losing five goals at Parkhead after scoring first. So for both clubs, an improvement on that sort of forum was the first priority. Jock Brown describes the Tannadice action. Well, United start the match playing against a stiff breeze and looking for their third consecutive Premier League win. Hibs, on the other hand, have had two defeats so far against Celtic and Hearts. And they have already shown they mean business, swap this that foul by McNamara and David Dodds. So a vital match for Hibs, they have to turn the corner quickly in this Premier League, you can become detached very quickly. And the first effort at goal from him and Bannon goes well over the top. Golf's header. Murray claims it. Well, Kellogg had come away in field. <laughs> now Richard Goff. Goff with a header from Milne. Taking on Duncan. It's a great cross. And well cleared by Alan Stedden. The typically swift Dundee United attack. Using the pace of Ralph Milne on the right. So the corner kick on the far side for United. Once again, Goff and Stark and Hegarty go into the box to join David Dodds. There's Milne. He stuck it well. Brazil's header out, Stark is there. There's Hegarty. Chance now for Riley. And that was a great save from Alan Ruff. Well, Ruff once again proving his worth to Hibbs. It was Hegarty's header which got beyond the Hibbs defence. Riley had lots of time to line up the shot. He hit it powerfully enough, but Ruff spread himself well. Sturden's header. Holt finding Bannon very quickly. Well, the results quick in the turn in these situations. Another good tackle. Hibbs is lining up with Brazil marking Riley for the most part. Jimison is on Dodds. But there's David Dodds! Well, he wasn't picked up, and that was so close to the opening goal. Well, Dodds has already picked up five goals this season. That was so nearly the sixth. The cross coming in, catching the Hibs defence, flat-footed. And Dodds header had Ruff completely beaten, but just went wide of goal. That's for Holt. Well, was it eased off the ball? The referee thinks not. And that must have been a marginal decision as Holt came through. But here's Stark trying to surprise Alan Ruff. Well, constant pressure from Dundee United, and still they can't find a way through. Stark's effort that time. United playing the ball along the back four, very confidently. The internationals involved there, Goff, Hegarty and Neri. Once again, a brilliant layoff from Dodds. Neri at full stretch. Wins it from Callaghan, who thinks he was fouled. And that's finally done by Maltas. Some great play from United. Haven't been able to finish it off yet. Well, he beaten in the air by Jimison. Let's go off. Mal pass intelligently peeling off to the right for the pass. Holt setting it up from Neri. Well, they didn't catch it properly. And still United come forward. Interception that time by Stedden. 
Well, he takes Hegarty's pass and takes on Brazil. Across for Dodds. And the incessant pressure pays off. A brilliantly conceived goal on the left. David Dodds gets his sixth of the season. 22 minutes gone. Well, the build-up was great. Paul Hegarty's pass initially finding Royley. He took on Ali Brazil, outpaced him to the line. The near post cross, and that's David Dodds at his very best. Matt over carrying the ball. It's won by Milne. Two youngsters, McKee and Mal, pass together. It's the Hibs man who wins it. Disappointing pass to finish, though. Now Royley tries to take on Brazil again. There's Dodds. Well, got it all on a fankle. Well, Dodds was perhaps lucky to see that ball coming across from Riley at all. It should have been cut off. But then couldn't get the shot on target. Where they again, once again favouring the left flank in these United build-ups. Here's Neri. Dodds looking for Riley. And left smartly off his line. the number of passes in the last 10 minutes or so it wasn't the case in the opening 20 minutes when United were pushing relentlessly forward Irvin turning Hegarty and referee Willie McLeish giving the indirect free kick for the illegal piece of barging free kick, looking for Dodds falls for Hegarty in the box, a great chance again for United and David Dodds takes it four minutes from half time United second Hegarty taking the congratulations as well he might Goff's free kick was aimed for Dodds he couldn't get to it but Hegarty picked it up, meanwhile Dodds made for the far post to be waiting for Hegarty's cross and once again Roth was helpless and referee William McLeish brings the first half to an end the first half totally dominated by Dundee United they thoroughly deserve the two goal lead they've been given by Davy Dodds two excellent goals Paul Hegarty involved in both of them setting up the pass for Riley to hit the dead ball line and make the near post cross for Dodds to get the first midway through the first half and then it was Hegarty who got to the far corner of the box to chip one across for Davy Dodds just before the interval to make it 2-0 excellent first half performance from Dundee United and join us again just after the break Back to Tad Ice, the man playing that back into his defence as they substitute Brian Rice, who's come on in place of Kevin McKee. With Rice on the ball again with that very educated left foot. Brazil heading it out. Here's young Kane, crisply tackled by Stark, but the referee didn't like it. The Hibs get the free kick. Milne to Holt. Space opening up ahead of him. And when it closed down, there was a gap on the right. Taylor. David Dodds. Well, congratulating Taylor for the quality of the cross. 
16 minutes into the second half, and that was almost Dodd's hat trick. Taylor getting the ball wide in the right, rifling it across. Dodds free again in the box. The glancing header just going wide. Kane. Milne kept it in. Well, Sneddon comes clear. He's down to determination. Tidally done by Malpass. Once again, a little touch, a vital touch from Dodds. Taylor releases Ban on the left. Promising for United. And indeed convincing, Ralph Milne. Well, once again, vintage Dundee United. 21st minute of the second half. Splendidly contrived again. Taylor out to Bannon. Bannon going for the dead ball line, the most delicate little chip. Rough stranded at the near post, and Milne at the easiest of tasks to make it 3 0. Paul Kane, just 18 years old from Salvison Boys Club. Now Bannon. Coming away from Snedden. Too high for Dodds. His Malpass. Now Taylor. Faint appeals to a penalty, waved aside by the referee, but still Taylor has possession. He almost found Dodds inside. A cool play from the youngster. Holt keeps the pressure on. Now Goff. And Snedden forced to turn it behind for the corner. And it's all done the United. Alan Sneddon, one of many defenders who are entitled to feel a bit weary. And that was so close to the fourth from Derek Stark. Very menacing in the box and he comes forward for these set pieces. Head up just a shade too high. Second substitution now for Dundee United. Number 12 is Billy Kirkwood. Morris Malpass goes off to some well-earned applause. And Kirkwood has about 11 minutes in which to make an impression on the play. Clear again, that's for Kirkwood, it could be his first touch and a goal, could it? Yes! Well, sheer delight for Billy Kirkwood, his first touch of the match, and he makes it 4-0 for Dundee United. Well, that was down to the combination again between Dodds and Milne in the midfield, forcing the ball out of that trouble, a pass putting the hips defence of what was left of it and Kirkwood coolly knocking it past Alan Ruff Dodge again playing it on looking for Taylor this time the champions sing the United supporters and on this form they could well retain that title well Bannon's onside and in great position Dodds in the middle so is Milne it's finding its way to Milne and it's still not out of play is Eric Taylor well I'm quite sure the defence will be only too pleased to hear the final whistle now on the rack. Melvin <laughs> crowded out once again. 
seeing tangerine jerseys all afternoon. Uh, Lift up, shade to Ellie. Rob by Callaghan. Irvin has Duncan free in the left. Until Richard Goff arrived, that was. It's Callaghan again. Looking for Milne. Jim is in trouble again. Great chance for Milne. Will he do it by himself? Yes, indeed. Milne second, United's fifth. Just five minutes left. Very much a solo effort from Ralph Milne. Took advantage of the slip from Willie Jim is not in the touchline. Carried the ball in and Alan Ruff. He had support inside, chose the route by himself, and once again, Ruff was completely stranded. Yes, a very convincing victory for Dundee United, and Hibbs' second five goal defeat in the space of four days. And that result took United to their now familiar place at the top of the Premier League with maximum points from three games. Celtic, who beat St Johnson after giving them a goal of a start, are also on six points as are the surprise package of the league, newly promoted Hearts. They shocked Rangers at Tynecastle to...